ओके गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल अगेन एंड द नेक्स्ट बुक फॉर समरी और फॉर रिव्यू इज इंडिया वर्सेज चाइना बाय कांति वाजपेयी दिस बुक हैज़ बीन रिटर्न रिसेंटली इट इट्स एक्चुअली पब्लिश्ड इन ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सो इट ऑल्सो हैज सम मैंशन अबाउट द पैंडमिक एज वेल एज द गल्व एंड क्लैशेज दैट हैपन इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इन द समर्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एट द एल ए सी और द गल्व एंड एरिया ऑफ लद्दाख राइट सो बेसिकली द बुक ट्राइज टू लुक एट वॉट इज द डिफरेंसेज बिटवीन द टू जाइंट एशियन एशियन पावर्स दैट आर देयर एंड इट बेसिकली कैटेगराइजेज दीज डिफरेंसेज इन टू फोर पार्ट्स एज यू कैन सी आई जस्ट शो यू वट द कंटेंट्स आर वाई दे आर नॉट फ्रेंड्स एंड दीज आर द कंटेंट्स for perceptions from regard to disdain this basically talks about the historical background from independence till uh, till 2020 then parameters from cooperation to conflict this basically is also related to the history how these uh, countries have not uh, never cooperated or they are towards to two different sides in partnership this basically is the symmetry between india china ussr that is russia and uh, america and basically it talks how there has been a flip flop made by russia china and uh, uh, america usa in this partnership and basically power this basically talks about the hard power basically the tangible powers and the soft powers that is there so overall in this book the author tries to say is that uh, uh दो एट प्रेजेंट टाइम्स इकनॉमी ऑफ चाइना और बेसिकली द ओवरऑल पावर ऑफ चाइना इज एक्चुअली सेवन टाइम्स मोर दैन इंडिया दे हैव एक्चुअली मल्टीप्लाइड द फैक्टर्स दैट वर देर द सॉफ्ट पावर एंड द जी डी पी एंड एवरी थिंग सो दे कम दे द ऑथर से इज दैट एक्चुअली द इकोनॉमी और द पावर ऑफ चाइना इज एक्चुअली सेवन टाइम्स मोर दैन इंडिया एंड बेसिकली दे may not go into a war so easily because there are logistic issues uh, from indian side there are logistics issues from china side as well and they are completely into different uh, matters for india uh, the lac or the border is quite a big issue for china uh, it is basically the thing that uh, the author says that there might not be a war at present only there may be confront uh, confrontations that are happening and basically there may be some issues uh, that come up after the lai lama steps down as the uh, uh, as the uh, role model for or the leader of the tibet tibetan people so uh, this is what the author says basically author has tried to i don't know what to uh, describe basically the book has quite been critical of uh, india right uh, it's basically the comparison that is happening uh but i really don't see whether though i am not a very um, pro party person like i do not uh, indulge myself or, uh, or deviate myself toward one single party but yes uh, if everything is wrong then there is also some right that has happened so uh, there are some issues with the book may the author appears to be somewhat biased uh, uh maybe the facts are facts are quite quite good facts you can read about the facts but uh, giving such a drowsy picture at the end uh, is uh, though i do uh, accept that the things he has written are good it's not that bad but if everything is bad then uh, everything is bad about one and everything is good about the other so that is never the case there are goods and bads for each side so that has not been kept into account and uh, but you may read this book to get an idea of what actually uh, makes these two countries so different and uh, why they are not friends so this is it for this book thank you